welcome to my home for spring. I am so happy to spend a bit of time with you here today. It is the first week of a new month, if you can believe it. It's officially May, and I am sprucing up the spring decor around my home just a bit today. I always get so excited to share my home decor here with you on YouTube, so I hope that you enjoy this video. I'm starting in the living space today. I love to give this area new life with the changing of the seasons and using these cherry blossom trees that I have during the spring and summer months around the fireplace is something that I just really, really enjoy. I think they look really nice here. They add a softness to the space and they're just pretty to look at. Since I'm moving several of my artificial trees around this season, I thought I would share with you how I like to fill the base of my planters. I like to line the sides of the planter with recycled packing paper and I'm careful to surround the plant on all sides to ensure that the planter stays secure, leaving about an inch or two at the top of the planter for the moss or the soil that I add next. Once I have the paper in place, I fill the top of the pot with my filler material. For spring, I'm using green moss. This little trick not only keeps the plant in place, but it also helps minimize the amount of moss or soil you may use to fill the top while still giving it a full look, which I really like. You probably know by now that the sentimentalist in me cannot get through a decorating video here on YouTube without sharing a family heirloom with you. This is a vintage tray that was my aunt's. You will notice throughout this video that my decor theme for May is butterflies. So this tray is the perfect addition to my spring decor. And of course, I treasure it very much. I decided to switch up the pillows in here a bit also and go with a couple different tones of purple. I think Buddy approves.
favorite ways to use faux florals around my home is to simply wrap small bundles with some ribbon and thoughtfully place them around the house. It adds the perfect little something to a vignette, especially on a small table like this one. As you know, May is the month that we celebrate our moms. May is when we celebrate Mother's Day. So I really wanted to keep my mom in mind with my decor this month. Her favorite color, or her signature color as she would say, is lavender. So I decided to go with lavender linens in my breakfast room this month. I think they complement the dishes that I'm using in here so well. This might just be my favorite table that I have set all year so far. I love this room so so much. The butterflies, the lavender, everything just makes me so happy. I cannot wait for my mom to come over and enjoy this space. I think she's going to really like it. Since my theme for May is very butterfly heavy, I thought it would be so fun to sprinkle these little butterflies all around my home as if they just flew in and softly landed on different things and in different spaces like the centerpiece that you see here. I can confirm. <laughs> that preteen butterfly obsessed me would be very pleased with this decor. It is so whimsical and so cute. And when I say butterfly obsessed, let me just tell you, when I was a child, I went through a period of time, probably from around, I don't know, the ages of like eight to 13, where I drew the letter B, so the B in Brittany at the beginning of my name as a butterfly on everything. It was my signature. I refused to write my name any other way and it was glorious. Maybe I should bring that back. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. Mm -hmm. Maybe the birds. 
Birds will sing about your heart Maybe the trees will whisper the word Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope little hanging faux florals at Target. I love the colors and thought they would go perfectly here for now. I would actually really like to get a couple of small hanging planters to plant herbs in and hang them in these windows soon. What do you think about that idea? Let me know in the comments below. Wind could spread your love. What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There be no wars. Mm. to add a little something decorative to the kitchen island but this is an area that i also need to function for me so i decided to add this basket that i typically use around my hearth with a bunch of florals just kind of bundled in there i think it definitely gives me spring vibes but it's also easy to just pick up and move if i need this counter space to cook because something's last forever Blank. 
get out this history covers me today in between the bliss and underneath the egg in the tenderness a single thread Thank you so much for visiting me here on YouTube today. I'm so grateful for you and I will see you again very soon. Until next time, happy decorating.